Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 13 to 21. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. We hear today that Jesus' heart was moved with pity for the crowd. However, several gospel commentaries present some more suitable replacement for pity, which is the word compassion. Pity comes across as having somewhat of a condescending tone. Compassion, on the other hand, presents a much more intimate and relatable approach where Jesus' humanity is stirred because he feels what the crowd is feeling. And it is through this compassion that Christ wants us to be partakers in his divine mission. But all the heavy lifting will be done by him. All we need to do is provide the bare essentials, such as the five loaves and two fish we hear about today. And through humble offerings like these, Jesus will perform great works. This is a powerful and life-changing missionary partnership that all of us are invited to participate in, regardless of where we find ourselves in our life journey. Each and every one of us, rich or poor, young or old, healthy or sick, always have a way to participate in God's salvific mission. All we need to do is search in our hearts where the Spirit dwells and ask. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and heartwarming day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.